Hello everyone, I am Arpit Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today I am going to tell you how you can post RSS feed data to your LinkedIn account. Now <coughs> you all must know about RSS feeds through which we are going to extract information about different topics. It can be news, it can be sports, it can be travel, it can be fashion. And now if you are an active user on LinkedIn and post a lot about a particular type of content or you are related to a particular type of profession because LinkedIn is basically for professional networks and people talk about jobs, people talk about different professions, people you know apply for jobs, people look for jobs there. So what can happen whenever you are talking about a particular content or posting about a particular content, you can use these RSS feed links to automatically fetch data from a particular website on a particular content and then can post it on your LinkedIn account automatically. Now to do this automation, we are going to use an integration and automation service, Pavli Connect, which will help you connect RSS feed links from different websites to your LinkedIn account. Now if you want to know how to do this automation, you have to come with me to the screen. And we are back at our screen, so what we have to do, we have to go to the address bar and type in pabbly pabli.com slash connect. And as soon as we will do that, we will be redirected to this page. And here you can see we have two options. First one is sign in, second one is sign up. So either you can sign in or you can sign up. If you already have an account, you will go for sign in. If you do not have an account, you will go for sign up. Signing up is very easy. It will only take two minutes to do that. And also we are giving you 100 free tasks every month from our site. So I already have an account, so I will go for sign in. And here what I'm going to do, you will see these are my softwares. I will click on access now for Pabli Connect. Now what will happen? A new window will open and here you can see these are all the automations I have and now what I'm going to do I'm just going to create a new workflow by clicking on this button and now I am going to name my workflow and now we are going to give it the name RSS feeds to LinkedIn okay now <clears throat> what we are going to do, we are just going to click on create and after that you will see you will have two windows here. First one is trigger and second one is action. Now trigger window is the window where an event is happening at the start of the process. Action uh, window is the window where an event is happening at the end of the process or when the final event is happening. So what is happening in our trigger? We are going to go for our RSS feeds and now here we are going to click on new item in feed. Click on connect. And now it will ask you for the feed URL. So from where you are going to get this feed URL, there are several websites and you will see these kind of feeds URL link where you can just click on these links and open the feeds or uh, you know what you can do is you can just copy this in our case because we are making an automation. So we will just copy any uh, of the RSS feed link and let us see, I'm gonna go for a business. So I'll just copy this and I will go here and I will click on uh, this feed URL and then paste this URL and click on save and send test request. Now what will happen? It will take the latest news, whichever is the latest news here and it will give us the link as well as the title. So here you can see watch Bollywood actor Shahid Kapoor's latest video with his Mercedes Maybach S580 is all fun. Okay. Now what will happen? This is only one news here when we are creating the automation. But what will happen after creating the automation? This automation will run every eight hours. So do not expect the news within minutes or within one hour, two hour or three hour. This automation will run within every eight hours and every eight hours, whatever the news will be put in this RSS feed, those news will be captured and will be sent to your LinkedIn account. So here we are going to go for LinkedIn account in our action steps. So go for LinkedIn and here in action event go for what we are doing here. We are doing the sharing of the URL or the article. So we are going to take this share an article or URL connect it. Go for add new connection connect with LinkedIn. Now it will ask you for the password. So let me just log in here. And now you can see my authorization is successful and uh, the same in the same way you have to give the authorization of your LinkedIn to Pabli Connect. And let me tell you that Pabli Connect does not take any chances with your data and your data with Pabli Connect is absolutely safe. So author is Ashi. Now what we are going to do here, we are going to use a technique which is called mapping and we will map the data from this window in this window. So we will go for content and here in content I will go for title and then an article and an article I will go for link. 
So this is the content, which is the title and this is the article URL, which is the link. And now I'm just going to click on save and send test request. And as soon as I will do that, you can see we have a new ID here. We will go back to LinkedIn here. We will just refresh it. So let me just refresh this. And now let me just go to my account and show you the post I did right now. So here you can see this is my post and here it is written now, which means I just posted it. Watch Bollywood actor Shahid Kapoor's latest video with his Mercedes Maybach S580 is all fun. And when you will open this, you can see, you can just go to this link and just read this link here. Sorry, uh, read this news here, not the link. Okay. So this is how you can use the RSS feeds into your LinkedIn account and connect them together with your Pabli Connect so that whenever there is a new use news in your uh, RSS feed, it will automatically be shared to your LinkedIn account and then people can go and watch it, share it or like it or view it in your LinkedIn account if they do not want to go to the uh, parent website. Okay. Now, this automation can work wonders for people who are into blogging, who are into you know, uh, sharing who are into sharing different types of stuffs from different types of websites or who are into sharing same stuff from different types of websites or the news about a particular stuff from different types of websites. Okay. So you can use this automation and to do this automation, you are going to follow these steps. If you do not want to waste your time, you can just go into the description box and clone the link from my description box into your account. But for that, you need to have an account. And for that, you need to go and sign up. Signing up is absolutely free. And we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month. So do not wait. Go and sign up now. Hasta la vista. So thanks a lot for watching our video. I hope you understood everything. Now, if you want any other events to edit in our module, what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly.com. If you have any queries regarding this software, you can just ask your queries at this website at this link. And if you want to check the prices, you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software. Now, I just want to tell you that auto automation is a boon for us and it can change the future and I will you know suggest you to take this as quickly as possible which will ease your task save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts thank you